was easy. Hello. So, this is my first experiment with the iPad on the big recording. I found I, um, my DSLR just wasn't, it was too narrow a thing, and then my other camera, which you see here, I wasn't pleased with its resolution. Anyway, we will see. So where are we? Where are we in this whole process? Well, I'll tell you where we're at. Pretty much where we started. Pretty much. So here we have our forty forty disk drive. Here we have this is the this that has the test program. And even though, here it comes, even though I changed that one capacitor, and you know what, I do notice that things are running cooler, or it seems they are. Um, feels like they are. Uh, the drive still failed. Oh my. Oh, it's doing a backup. I think if I turn this on, it's going to make noise. Yep, it is. So, yep. Oh, never mind. That. Thank you, sir. I need a good tidy up session after the almost looks like an ER room. After the uh, the operation on the drive here. One thing though, um, I don't know if I've ever mentioned. I don't know if I've ever mentioned Value Village, but Value Village is quite a cool place. I went there today, not looking for anything, but of course I find things. And one of the things I found was a great big old toolbox. I think it's a craftsman. And it's not right here yet, but I will bring it here. Because now, um, in front of me are tools and things and stuff. And I really need to have it all contained. I do. So, right now, they are not contained, but they need to be. So, this is now... I've just started... Started this up to test. That was easy. But I know what's going to happen, because uh, it's already done it before. And that is... Yeah, but oh look, it is working. I think I'm going to change this so it doesn't do the back. I'm just going to have it. Well, you know what I'm going to do? I'm 
I'm going to remark the backup, but I'm going to unremark the resting period. Because, you know, these drivers, they never, ever ran, like, well, continuously for, well, I guess in some applications they did, but mostly you'd load something, you'd save something. Here and there they'd spin. So I'm going to let this rest. And it's in the midst of its testing. But I'm sure it will fail. And um, as I said, I'm, it felt cooler, which is good. Um, I'm thinking, it's funny, when people talk about recapping, I need to search into this. Because on this, on circuit boards like these, oh, and lucky, this is an 8050 board. But they talk about recoup. Excuse me. Well, they talk about recapping. Well, I replaced one capacitor. And uh, certainly there are two others. Two? Maybe there's more than two that I will do in the midst of all this. But on the big, certainly the big ones. But in total, there's... Oh, well, this board looks simpler than the other. No, no, it doesn't. According to this, there's something in the vicinity of 65 capacitors. So, with each one probably having two connections, that's 130 unsolderings and solderings, and that's a lot of stuff, and that's a lot of chances for error. But I do see, um, on the far side of this, on the power side, there's a bunch of capacitors here. I've changed the one on here. I think I will be hitting to change the rest. I see... Over here, there's another couple of big ones, and there may be, well, there's some others that are looking kind of significant, but certainly there's a lot of them here that are teeny tiny. Uh oh the drive was resting, the drive has failed. Okay, so, it is now time to turn this on. Hang on, no, it's not. So this has failed. We're going to turn this on. We should turn on the fan inside. And chances are, within not very long, it's going to start working again. Yet. Um, certainly things are failing faster. I wonder if the capacitor. Oh, okay. So back up. And working again. I am wondering, 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 wondering. I really need. And I don't think I have one in here, else I would have used it, I think. Um, I need to find, and I have meters, like volt meters. It's, it's failing again. Okay, let's put the fan. And it's back up again. I've looked online and I found a few references that talk about some other 
things that's producing it. Um, I have, but it does seem definitely heat related. So my, my brain is still aiming towards that. Um, and as soon as I get talking, I forget what it is. It's a voltage regulator. But it may not be, you know, that may be just fine. It just, oh, there we go. Turn on the fan. And up it goes. I suppose I suppose I should take a closer look in here at what these other things people mention are, but it, it does seem very like th this failed very quickly this time. <sighs> but it didn't just, you know, there's been no smoke, there's been no flame. As you know from all, if you've been watching, this has been a long, tortured process of trying to figure out what is wrong here. So perhaps I will look into some of the online posts. Oh, here we go. The fan is on. And I'm suspecting that in a moment it will start to work again. There we go. Although, even as it starts, there are things that, like the director, doesn't look perfectly happy. But I suppose, there we go, we are failing. But I don't think the fan is going to make much difference right now, because the fan is not contained. I'm actually looking. And looking at this version of the board for this, that was supposed to be a 2020, sorry, 2040. Um, I don't believe. I don't know. I don't believe this is the original version of the board. It does look like it has um, quite a few. Uh, less thing. I should look at the version and see what's what. Anyway, so what have we done? Well, we know we've got a failure. In, in some ways, since changing the capacitor, the failure is more quick and more consistent. I'm just feeling around. Things in here. Because that chip is harder than most. That one is not. You know, many times I have said, I think I know what's happening here. And 
that has not proven to be correct. It's funny, on this version of the board, there do seem to be a lot less um, capacitors, resistors, all kinds of things. I can't... Wait a second, there it is. Certainly things look like there's less components than, say, the 8050 board over there. Anyway, now that it's quiet, I'm going to take a fresh finger. Now you remember, all the chips in here are not the chips that were in here, so it should make no difference what chip is what. But you know what, just because I'm... I've tried most everything else there is. I'm going to go over here to this other, this is a completely different drive. And I'm going to open it up. My intention is to make off with the 6522 chip. Maybe I'll try. I'll get this one out while I'm here. Oh yeah, that's not good. Let's see. Because well. In the literature, some of the stuff I was reading, it, it makes references. And I know, oftentimes, these things are not communicating well. This is the culprit. Oh, where's my screwdriver? Uh -huh. Is this it? No. Is this it? No. This is one of the screwdrivers I often use. I very much like it. Okay. Okay. Now we're having more success. But once again, be very patient. Be very slow. Okay. Here, and I'm pretty sure this isn't going to make 
any difference. There's a 6522. Oh, made in 1980. This is earlier. So, there's the witness mark. The other 6522 chip right here. I would be shocked if this makes any difference at all. But, as you know, you know, I've not had great success in figuring such things out. So it is now resting, as I have asked it to do. I think the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to get this toolbox in here and see about sorting out things again. Here again is, of course, a board from an 8050, which does look much the same, but somehow more complicated. Anyway, I will consult more people about the magic of oh, recapping. So this should, if it's going to immediately fail, fail pretty soon. That was easy. It does now have the delay in there. There we go. Maybe I'll take the delay out and it spin. I would like this to work, but I don't believe it. So now we're just doing the directories and initializing and going. And generally, lately, if this is going to fail, it should fail within the first couple of minutes. So the chip I took out. I keep watching here. Now it's funny, I forgot until recently. I can turn this monitor. So you can see. Take my beads. Yeah, my beads. You can see, kind of, at least you can see things are happening. Do, 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 do. So. This going. I know what will happen if I say, well, you know, this really isn't failing, so I'm going to stop recording, and then I'm going to come back to this when it fails, as soon as I walk this way, to stop recording, it will fail. I will start to hear those funny noises. Aha! Look at that. The funny noises are on it. So in other words, it is not the 6522 chip. <coughs> so good. I'll turn on the fan. We'll pause. We'll run. Okay. 
okay, and still thinking about getting better. Yeah. There's still a little weird stuff in that directory, but it's up and going. So, it is not. original circuit board. Come on, come on. Okay, I think. Come on. I don't want to joke. Pins, pins are looking good. Here is what was in there. It's funny, a lot of these look like they have almost a little damage down. And it's not the end I cry off. It's at the witness mark. Okay. We'll get this lined up. We will push. We will look. We're good. If I turn the drive on, it'll sound fine. <sighs> Isn't that wonderful? So, I'm going to put this back in here. If I turn around, I do. <sighs> All right. Well, my gut tells me a couple of things. Firstly, I should change more capacitors. Secondly, um, the voltage regulator, which is in the heat sink here, I am suspicious of. I'm also suspicious of these two diodes, but they seem to be, I mean, they look fine. Once again, it's kind of like the doctor and the chiropractor. Treat the symptom, find the cure. I would like to find the root cause of this trouble and fix it. And, more and more, I, I'm leaning towards the voltage regulator, which could be completely wrong. But certainly, changing capacitors cannot be a bad thing. So, it's late. I am tired. Everything is as it was when I started. No better, no worse. I have a little more confidence in soldering and unsoldering. And as you will see in the coming episodes, I will do more of that. So, once again, if anyone has any thoughts, I'm all ears. Ugh. Until we meet again.